first thing to do is install the app on your phone. If you're an iPhone user, go to the App Store and search for Microsoft Authenticator or scan this QR code. If you have an Android phone, search for Microsoft Authenticator in the Play Store or scan this QR code. Now go to the student portal at my.london.ac.uk and click on the Sign In button. Usernames for the Student Portal and Inquiry Hub have changed slightly. You may have previously logged in using a code containing your initials followed by a number. This hasn't changed, but you now need to add at london.ac.uk after the code. This is an essential step as your account is now linked to Microsoft 365. Enter your username with the at london.ac.uk suffix and click Next. Enter your password. This will not have changed and click Sign In. You'll see a More Information Required screen. Click Next and then you'll be taken to a Setup screen. Click Next again to start. If you haven't already installed the app, you'll need to do so before proceeding. On your phone, launch the Microsoft Authenticator app. Make sure you allow notifications if you are prompted. On your computer, click Next. Back on your phone, tap the plus sign at the top right of the app. From the list that appears, select Work or School Account. Then choose Scan QR Code and use your phone to scan the code that appears on your computer screen. Click Next and your setup should now be complete. On your computer, you'll see a screen asking you to test your setup. You will see a two digit number. Back on your phone, enter the number you see on your computer screen and tap Yes. If the codes match, you have successfully set up MFA. From now on, when you log into the Student Portal or Inquiry Hub, you'll be prompted to enter a new two-digit number on your phone. You'll be asked to pick an account. If yours is not listed on the screen, click on Use Another Account. Enter your username with the at london.ac.uk suffix and click Next. Enter your password and click Sign In. You'll then be prompted to approve sign-in request. If you've set up to receive notifications in the Microsoft Authenticator app, you'll receive a notification on your phone screen. Tap the notification and enter the code you see on your computer screen. At this point, your phone may use face recognition or ask for your passcode. If the numbers match, you'll see your computer screen refresh and you will have been successfully logged in. If you're getting a new phone, make sure to back up your Microsoft Authenticator app before erasing your old device. Without a backup, you'll lose access to MFA. If this happens, you'll need to contact us through the Inquiry Hub. We will assist you in deregistering the old phone and you can reset up MFA on your new one. If you ever find you're not receiving Microsoft Authenticator notifications on your phone, First, make sure you have a stable internet connection and you've turned on notifications. If you have an iOS phone, tap Settings, then tap Notifications, tap Authenticator and make sure the Allow Notifications is on and Notification Delivery is set as Immediate Delivery. Also, make sure Do Not Disturb mode is off as this will block notifications. If you have an Android phone, tap Settings and then tap Notifications. Tap App Settings select Authenticator and make sure notifications are on. If you lose or break the phone you've set up for MFA or if you forget to back up the Microsoft Authenticator app before getting a new phone, you could temporarily lose access to your account. To minimize the chances of this happening, we strongly encourage you to set up multiple MFA options. Visit the Microsoft My Account page at myaccount.microsoft.com and click on Security Info. If it's not already listed, you'll first need to add your primary phone number. Click Add Sign-in method, then click on Phone. Select your country code from the drop-down list, enter your number and click Next. Enter the capture code if prompted. You'll be sent a six-digit code by text message. Enter the code and click Next. You can follow the same steps to add an alternative phone number in case you're unable to receive calls or messages in the event of your phone being lost or broken. You'll receive a quick automated phone call on the number to confirm. 
you can revisit this page at any time to change any of the details.